Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Project on econometric modeling. So, today we will cover panel data modeling. So, in the last uh, couple of lectures, we have discussed dummy variable modeling that to dummy dependent and dummy independent. Uh, uh, again, uh, uh, single dummy and multiple dummy, and also interactive effect. So, many ways we have discussed I means. Uh, uh, in this uh, dummy independent, there is a one dependent case, multiple dependent case and it is interactive case. Similarly, in the dummy dependency case, so we have discussed linear probability model, binary choice models, logit model and probit models and we have also discussed various differences between all these models. Uh, in fact, we have not discussed uh, a practical problem because of uh, lack of time. Uh, uh, in the meantime, we will discuss the same thing in the panel data model because it is a very, uh, it is too much integrated uh, with the panel data model. And uh, in that case, we will discuss something application and we will touch the dummy variable modeling also. So, yeah, so once we will discuss the panel data model, then obviously we can also get touch with the dummy variable modeling. So, because it is a, a means without knowing dummy, dummy modeling, it is very difficult to handle panel data models because it is the basic means panel data, uh, panel data for understanding the panel data, uh, dummy variable modeling is essential. So, until unless you have complete knowledge on dummy variable modeling, it is very difficult to understand the panel data modeling. So, uh, last couple of lectures we have already briefed uh, about the uh, dummy variable modeling that to dummy dependence and dummy and dummy dependent variable and dummy independent variable. So, today we will discuss the panel data model and we will also cover how the dummy can be used in the real regression analysis and also highlight the issue of dummies. So, before we go to panel data modeling, so first of all what is panel data? So, in the last uh, you know uh, last few lectures or you can say from the beginning. So, we have discussed the data uh, analysis only. So, that to you know you, you talk about bivariate or trivariate or univariate or whatever may be the case or you can say multivariate or even if the problem aspects like multicollinearity, heteroscedacity, autocorrelation, dummy variable modeling, etcetera. Everywhere, so every problem is associated with data without having data it is very difficult to understand particular problems or you cannot apply it uh, means so far as application is concerned. So, without having a particular setup of data, it is very difficult to understand. Uh, it is a, a you know, so first of all uh, what is data? Data means it is actually collection of information. So, now once you have some information, then you know so that information may be very quantitative in nature, may be very qualitative in nature, may be in both. Okay, So, that we have very much you know clearly identify or you can say categorize in the case of dummy variable modeling. So, uh, we, you know uh, up to dummy variable modeling, we usually handle the quantitative form of data, but you know during the dummy variable uh, modeling time. So, we have discussed both the quantity aspect of data and qualitative aspect of data. So, here we will discuss uh, same data uh, you know modeling, but with a different setup and different structures. So, basically data means collection of information. So, collection of information with respect to what? So, that is how the basic, basic data setup is started. So, a collection of information with respect to three aspects, time aspect, cross, cross sectional that is individual unit uh, aspects and also integration of both. So, that means data can be collected with respect to individual observation or that is what we call it cross sectional unit data can be used under panel, uh, you know time series analysis and data can be collected under both the heads ok. So, like this panel data. Uh, so, first of all we will discuss what is panel data ok. First of all we will discuss what is panel data. 
So, uh, for first we start with the data, the data classification, then we will go to the penal data. So, data is basically divided into or I can call it for different angles we can classify. One is called as a cross sectional, then time series, then pool data, then penal data. Okay. So, you know cross sectional means data available with different cross sectional unit that is called as a cross sectional data. So, the, this is usually a, a, you know indicate with I subscript, then time series means data is collected uh, over a period of time that is usually represent by subscript uh, you know T S uh, T yes pool data means it is a combination of combination of both cross sectional and time just we are pulling cross sectional and time series data. So, this is IT representations and penal data is also pulling or you can say into a clubbing all these cross sectional and time series units, it is also IT, but uh, between if I, uh, you know pool data and penal data there is a difference. So, what is penal data? Penal data basically uh, means data collected in cross section, but they are observed periodically. So, means data, data can be collected. A, in a particular individual or cross sectional unit, but can be observed periodically means with respect to time observation. So, that is what it is called as a penal data setup or uh, when pool data is concerned. So, we are, uh, we are just pulling time series cross section uh, time series and cross sectional data, but we are not discussing uh, the uh, inside pictures in between clubbing the time series and cross sectional data. For instance, so when we really when we will club a uh, time series with you know cross sectional unit with time series units then definitely there is some kind of error in between. So, the variation will start and that variation will affect the individual parameters as well as the error component. So, as a result so there is some kind of you know problem is a, a happen, I means a, a, it can be raised there to handle the a, you know pool data. So, basically uh, the, uh, you know whether you will use uh, purely time series data, cross sectional data or pool data or panel data depending in uh, or depending uh, it is absolutely depend on your uh, you know objective specification. Okay. Suppose you, if your objective is not to study about the variation of individual aspect and time, uh, time series aspect then obviously you go ahead with the pool data. Pool data is just like a simple regression analysis like cross sectional uh, cross sectional observations and time series observation it is just you are clubbing. So, that means uh, uh, data features are not there just you are clubbing and increasing the sample size that is all, but the moment you will use pool data there is lots of limitation associated with the you know uh, uh, the uh, calculation involvement. So, now basically uh, cross sectional we will indicate I observation time series T observation and pool data uh, uh, you know clubbing of time series and cross sectional unit and panel data you know it is also cross, cross clubbing of cross sectional and time series data and also in the same times we are studying the variation of, of individual units and also individual or you can say group units and also time uh, time time components okay so now uh, for uh, this is i t i t i t or okay this is subscript but if you say for a particular variable then it becomes x i then x t then x i t then this is x i t okay so that means here so there is a, a imp means so we are targeting the variation of individual intercept terms and also we are targeting the time series term okay time series effect. So, that is how it is called as a penal data. That means, penal data is a, a broad, uh, means a broad concept and you know it is it is a complex problem, it is it is most practical more more you know feasible in the case of handling the uh, you can say a, a regression modeling or econometric modeling. So, now um, uh, what is the speciality of you know penal data modeling? So, that means, uh, we can we can solve a particular problem through cross sectional analysis, we can solve the time series analysis, we can solve through pool data analysis. So, now the question is what is this you know penal data, if everything is you know observed very easily then why will you go for penal data, because yes pool data is a part of the penal data, but pool data we are not just considering the problem aspects of uh, you know uh, pulling cross sectional and time series just we are pulling and uh, you are increasing the sample size. So, the moment you are increasing the sample size, so within that uh, you know 
integration there are certain problems which we will take care through intercept concept and you can say time series concept that means cross sectional issues and time series issues. So, now uh, what, what is the first of all what is the advantage or what are the learning lesson will be received from the uh, handling panel data modeling. First of all um, there are uh, basically three specific factors through which we like to enter panel data modeling or we like to learn panel data modeling. So, first thing so, we like to observe a particular variable with respect to its individual uh, units and with respect to its you know peri periodical issue that is means time series observation. For instance, let us say there are three airlines ok 1, 2, 3 ok. So, now uh, uh, we like to know what is their production capacity or you can say cost, uh, uh, cost involvement with respect to three airlines. Uh, with three different time periods say, or you can say five different time periods say. So, that means, uh, I is here represented as a cross sectional units, I one stands from 1 to 3 like this, I, I stands for, for three cross uh, you know time airlines, so then I will put 1, 2, 3 and for five different ways uh, time periods will take 1, 2, uh, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So, this is how we will represent. So, that means, so if we club, if we club then uh, for panel data, for panel data, we, we will get, we will club this to so this is I into T, so this is I T observation. So, okay, so this is I T observation. So that means we will have a 15 observation in this particular setup. So that means if you will go by cross sectional analysis, then you have only three observation. If you will go by time series analysis, then you have go, uh, you have only a uh, five observation. So now when we will club all these two, then you will get 15 observation. That means uh, uh, in the very beginning we have mentioned typically uh, typically we have highlighted uh, for any specific mo um, uh, modeling so your sample size should be substantially very high higher the sample size higher is the accuracy of the model or higher, higher higher is the feasibility of the model if the sample size by any chance it is low or you can say it is go against the system for instance where variables are very high say 10 and uh, number of sample is say 5 then obviously the system itself is inconsistent you cannot solve the problem so if, if there is a proper uh, uh, means you have to for a particular model you have to maintain the proper accuracy of sample size or data structures so without having such uh, uh, clarification or clarity it is very difficult to handle the a uh, or you difficult to go for estimation so before going going to estimate a particular models your sample size and model specification must be very feasible one if the system is inconsistent then obviously uh, you know uh, the estimation will be go uh, other way around that means whatever estimate uh, uh, estimation results you will get all the estimators will go against the blue theorem so that is how uh, these are all uh, means you must be very careful and you must integrate in the econometric modeling systems all right so so in this panel data modeling so we are just uh, observing data uh, or you are collecting data at a cross sectional level and observing the same in periodically. So, that means with respect to time sense. So, that is how you know it is very interesting. So, that means one of the special advantage of panel data is it will it will observe a particular variable with respect to its cross sectional dimension and it is time time series dimension. That means it is within the within the effect and between the effect. Okay. So, this is how we have to observe. For instance, I equal to 1, 2, 3 means there are three different airlines then five different time periods. So, now for I equal to 1, so first airlines we like to know what is its impact over the years, okay. what is its uh, cost involvement over the years. Okay. Similarly, like this okay. uh, you see here. So, if you put I 1, 2, 3 here, so then uh, I, T 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, that means here you, you will have observation, here we will have observation. So, now I can go this way, I can go this way. Okay. So, this is how it is called as a within effect and between effect. So, this is one of the special advantage we will observe in the case of penal data setting. Okay. Second observation is that uh, it, it will obviously by default uh, it will increase the sample size. If, if you go by only cross sectional analysis or if you will go by time series analysis, then the sample size is, will be very small, but if you integrate uh, uh, with proper you know panel setup then obviously it will give you a huge sample size and that is more practical and more reliable for the econometric modeling so this is the second advantage we have to use for panel data setting okay so third third advantage that we need special treatment okay we need special treatment for uh, uh, handling the panel data analysis because the moment you will club uh, you know uh, i with t in between there is lots of problems as uh, you know variation may be 
a, you know a, 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 it can be rage. So, that is how you have to be very careful how you have to handle all these problems be, uh, before integrating cross sectional observation time. So, these are the three major uh, issues we have to uh, uh, you have to know before you enter into the panel data modeling. Okay. So, now what is all about this panel data setting all right. Generally, uh, before I, I, hand, uh, I go to this particular setup, so I will briefly highlight what is all about the modeling structure under this uh, uh, you know panel data modeling. So, we have already mentioned, so the, the data is specifically divided into three parts, uh, time uh, cross sectional, time series and panel data. Uh, panel data okay. So, panel data pool data is in fact same, but uh, you know uh, there is you no know, means typically when we will handling panel data, then there is you no know, issue of the pooling concept. So, it will come in between automatically. Okay. So, that means, so we will have three, we will have three different structures cross sectional time series and panel data. So, uh, obviously, there is a pool data. So, we will go to go to that aspect separately. So, when we will discuss about the separate aspects of panel data, that times pool data has a uh, a image or you can say has an impact right now uh, for comparing you know cross sectional time series with the pool then obviously pool or panel is the same group ok. So, if we will study it is variations of individual aspects and time series aspect then obviously it will be panel data otherwise it is just pool data. So, then uh, obviously there are three forms of the uh, data. So, time series cross section uh, cross sectional and the integration of time series cross section. So, that is how it is called as a panel data. So, uh, so, so there are three more accordingly the, there may be three models we can develop for cross sectional the model will be for, uh, means if the system will be with respect to y and x then we can write like this y equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x uh, x 1 i okay, uh, plus u okay, plus u i. So, here i equal to 1 2 up to n. So, this is how it is cross sectional modeling. So, the system will be here y upon x 1. Okay. So, this system will be here y upon x 1 and uh, uh, we, we are setting with a, a cross sectional observations. Okay. So, keeping time remain constant. Okay. That means, we are not using any time aspect. So, we are just uh, integrating uh, cross sectional uh, items only. So, okay. so for time series the model will be instead of y, uh, y i we will put y t. So, which is nothing but beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1 t plus u t ok t equal t equal to 1 2 up to capital T. So, this is how the time series setup all about ok. So, that means, when we will set the time series. So, the variation will start with respect to time keeping a cross sectional unit remain constant. So, we are not bothering the cross sectional unit. So, just like you know for three airlines we are just targeting uh, i equal to 1 or i equal to 2 or equal i equal to 3 then we for each particular component say i equal to 1 then we have to see what is the variations or what is the structure within the that particular system when t equal to 1 t equal to 2 t equal to 3 t equal to 4 t equal to 5 okay so similarly for i2 i3 we can analyze but there is no connection between i i1 to i2 and i1 to i3 so that is what the time series all about similarly in the case of cross sectional so we are discussing row wise so uh, how what is the variations i1 i2 to i3 but we are not discussing what is the uh, variation of i i equal to 1 2 3 with respect to t1 t2 t3 t4 t5 okay so this is how it's constant so we are either using i equal to 1 2 3 with respect to t equal to 1 or i uh, i with uh, with respect to 1 2 3 and that has to integrate with t equal to 2 only then uh, the impact uh, means the variation of i 1 2 3 with respect to t equal to 3 like this. That means, it a particular year. So, we are discussing uh, the cross sectional variations or cross sectional observation. So, this is how time series modeling all about pure time series modeling this is pure cross sectional modeling. So, now then there is called as a panel data modeling. So, in the case of panel data modeling. So, our model will be integration of i t. Okay. So, y i t equal to beta 0 plus beta 1. Uh, uh, beta 1 uh, uh, x x 1 i t ok plus u i t ok here uh, here i equal to 1 to n and t equal to 1 to t ok and total sample is total sample is n into t. So, here total sample is total sample is total sample is t and here total sample size is n ok. So, total sample size is a, a the 8 uh, you know n for cross sectional modeling total sample is capital t for time series modeling and for, uh, for panel data modeling 
the total sample size is nt. Okay. So, this is how the uh, panel data um, you know, this is the basic of this panel data structures. Okay. So, now uh, how do I represent this panel data setup? So, let me highlight here the structure of panel data. Okay. So, generally uh, I have mentioned how uh, how, we, uh, how you have to set up this panel data structures. So, for instance, uh, I have already mentioned for i and I will put it here uh, t then you know let us say the variable say output then cost then let us say fuel amount loading capacity. Okay. So, these are the observations. So, we have taken i equal to 1. 1 to 3 and t I, we have taken 1 to 5. So, then how will you represent the, uh, uh, the, the sample setup? So, this is uh, this is very interesting. So, i is there, t is there. So, we are integrating i t. Then how is the sample setup? So, let us see here. So, uh, for you know this is for airline, i for airline, uh, i for airline and t for time uh, time or it is airways analysis. Okay. So, then output with respect to T and I, cost with respect to T and I, fuel with respect to T and I and loading is with respect to T and I. Okay. So, now how will we set up this one? So, let us say I equal to 1, then it is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So, T equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So, this is one observation. So, accordingly it will be uh, analyzed. Okay. So, keeping keeping i equal to 1 t, t is varying here. So, okay. Keep equal to keeping i equal to 1 t is varying here. So, now when i equal to 2 let us say 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 then obviously t equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, accordingly it has to be filled up. Okay. It has to be filled up. Then similarly, so when i equal to 3 then 3, 3, 3, uh, 3, 3 then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So, this is how proceeds. Okay. So, similarly, when i equal to 4, i equal to 5, then obviously, so now here we are getting 5, 5, 5, then 5 raised by. So, if you add, then you will get more number of observations. Okay. So, this is how the system uh, uh, will operate. So, that means, uh, this is how uh, the structure of the panel data modeling. Okay. So, now with the basic framework of panel data setup, so we will discuss the say you know the accurate estimation process of uh, panel data modeling. So, how do I uh, if we start with this panel data modeling? Let us see here. So, now panel data specifically panel data modeling specifically has a three different angles. Okay. So, one is called as a pool data angles then uh, another is called as a uh, fixed effect models fixed is a pool data it's pool data model then it is fixed effect model fixed effect model then uh, then there is called as a random effect models so there is a another model called as a random effect model random effect model so, that means, we have specifically highlighted uh, four different structure of uh, data setup, uh, time series, cross sectional, then pool and panel. So, so far as the panel data is concerned, so we are talking about the pool component and the panel component. So, we are not very much strict about the time series, individual time series or individual cross sectional. So, now here we are just pooling and we are observing the issues. So, now for pool data modeling, so the sample setup is we can use simply ordinary least square method. So, for a methodology is concerned. So, means, uh, uh, means you see here. So, our aim is to have the data, whether it is a time series data or cross sectional data or you can say uh, panel data or pool data. So, now once you have a data, then obviously we have the variable information because without having uh, you know what is the data uh, analysis structure. Data analysis is the middle process of the econometric modeling. So, initially we will start with the uh, theory, then we you design a problem, then with respect to problem we have to specify objectives and with respect to objectives we have to specify hypothesis and with respect to objective hypothesis we have to set the model. Then once you, uh, once you will set the model, that means it is a mathematical form of the model. Since hypothesis is there, so accordingly it will be transport to statistical form of the model. 
So, once you have the statistical form model, for instance, uh, let us say there are variables say y and x. So, now this is uh, y as simply as a function of x like this. Uh, let us say y is a simply function of x. Okay. So, now this is implicit format. So, I will call it a, this is purely a mathematical model. So, now uh, you know you before you go for, uh, for before you proceed further. So, you have to uh, you have to put this model in explicit format. So, so far as a, a correct specification must be concerned. For instance, in the in the in the models here, so we have describes. Okay, so this particular models. So we have describes the cross-sectional effect, time series effect, and multi um, uh, panel data modeling system. So now, when there is a, you know mathematical form of the model, then error must not be there. Then obviously we have to just uh, explicit. Uh, uh, we have to put the explicit format just y equal to alpha plus beta x. Okay. So, then similarly we have to apply i subscript or t subscript then also i t subscript. So, that is not a problem headache. So, that means, so uh, you have to go with the objective hypothesis then mathematical form of the model then you have to transfer into statistical form of the model by introducing the uh, artificial error term and finally, we have to minimize the error term to get the best fitted model. Okay. So, this is how the uh, uh, usual procedure all about. Okay. So, now when, when uh, you fit the statistical form of the model, then obviously you need to estimate that statistical form of the model. So, for that you need information or data. So, with the help of data or information, you have to process or estimate the model to get the, uh, uh, to get the, uh, you know, uh, means we uh, to understand the exact uh, nature of the relationship among the variables. Okay. So, for that we need to have a information and it is a process. So, uh, when, uh, when you need to have information and process, then obviously, uh, the system will be very okay or system will be very efficient if the information is exclusively very high. Okay. But most of the problems in the real world, real life situation, uh, it cannot be possible to have a huge sample problem, sample size. So, what you have to do? So, uh, so since it has a problem or constant for econometric modeling, so econometrician has developed the concept of panel data so that the cross-sectional and time series can be clubbed and that can be uh, used for econometric modeling to verify particular statistical models. So, the way we will integrate then obviously, that structure is called as a panel data modeling. So, when we will integrate then there are several uh, serious issues are uh, coming in. So, that issues we have to take care very carefully. Okay. So, now accordingly, so uh, when we will club all these variables means data with means that is with respect to cross sectional and time series, then obviously, you will you will find there are two forms of models. So, one is called as a pool data models and another is called as a pure panel data model. So, when there is a pure panel data model, so th this pure panel data model is further divided into two aspects that is called as a fixed effect model and random effect model. So, I will now highlight what is fixed, mod uh, fixed effect model and random effect model. So, so far as a OLS is concerned, pool data model OLS is concerned, uh, this particular structure is just you know it is just pool the cross sectional cross sectional and time series data time series data okay but do not consider any uh, co, 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 you should not consider any aspect of cross sectional and time series behavior so that means please, uh, you do, uh, do not consider or there is no consideration of do not consider the uh, 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 cross individual individual and time behaviors individual that is cross sectional and time behaviors Okay, time behaviors. So, that means, uh, 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 you know, if there is no such co consideration of individual and time behavior, then you know, you just pull the data and uh, uh, as usual, uh, the application of OLS in the case of cross sectional modeling and time series modeling separately. So, you can also plot this OLS, uh, means apply this OLS to this pool data analysis. So, it is very simple, very easy, very reliable, but uh, there is inside there is lots of complexity. So, that complexity can be uh, can be uh, uh, you know evaluated or you can say uh, investigated through the uh, through the uh, panel data modeling that is that is uh, that to fixed effect model and the random effect model. So, now in the case of fixed effect models in the case of fixed effect models. So, there are uh, the what is there. So, here uh, means we are just pulling first condition is uh, satisfied pulling cross sectional uh, pulling cross sectional and time series data uh, and in the same times uh, you have 
uh, means you are considering you are considering in the time effects the time effects time effects and individual effects in the individual effects time effects we are considering the time effects and individual effects on the intercept on the intercept on the intercept ok so that means uh, so when you are using panel data model um, panel data model so you you, you you have means we have three different formats so one is called as a pool data model then fixed effective model and random effect model pool, pool data model in the pool, in the case of pool data model we are just pulling the data without having any uh, any connection with the individual aspect and time series aspect okay and for that region <coughs> ul ULS is the technique which is usually used to uh, estimate that particular model and to have the parameters okay but uh, when you will go for fixed defect model then that times we are just pulling the cross sectional and time series data but in the same times we are observing the time series effect and individual effect on the uh, on the uh, you know panel data so that means this is in the case of fixed defect model so the individual impact and you know time series impact is studied through intercept okay so there is a term called as an intercept okay we have said y equal to alpha plus beta x plus uit so alpha is the component where we will make the variation so we will apply the variation with respect to individual aspect and time series aspect with the intercept concept okay so you know like this uh, when we will set a simple models y y i equal to alpha uh, y i t equal to alpha plus beta x i t plus u i t okay so now uh, when when we we uh, we study the variation or effect of individual aspect or time series aspect with respect to imp, you know intercept that to target here only so that means it may be uh, alpha i or it may be alpha t so this is how we have to observe or separately you can say i will create another parameter say alpha i and uh, you can say gamma t so this is how the effect of uh, uh, effect of panel data can be observed so that means when we are observing the uh, variation of individual aspect and time series aspect on intercept then uh, it is called as a fixed effect models okay but random in the case of random effect model uh, is something different you remember you, you you know here uh, means we can make a guess here that the moment you will uh, we, we, we have the variation variational impact on uh, you know uh, uh, you know this intercept that means when time series variation and cross sectional variation is observing with the respect to intercept then obviously that impact will directly go to or indirectly go to the error component so uh, as a result error cannot be constant so error will really vary so that means you see how it is connected so first pool data there is no connection with the you know intercept so intercept is remain constant okay so now when uh, means we are artificially keeping constant uh, you know uh, the time impact and cross sectional because time is uh, time is uh, dynamic and also cross sectional is dynamic that means it is not a static i just like i equal to 1 or i equal to 2 or t equal to 1 or t equal to 2 here i uh, varies and t also varies so that means the moment it will vary then there is lots of uh, variation or you can say further impact so now that further impact is observed through error uh, intercept and that uh, the moment you observe that uh, variation in the uh, intercept that is called as a fixed effect model so when we apply that variation on uh, you know intercept and that to fixed effect model and obviously that uh, further impact will go to the error terms and when we will be observing the error variance with respect to time dimension and cross sectional dimension then it is called as a random effect model okay so that means the usual procedure is you go with pool data then fixed effect model and random effect model but generally fixed effect model and random effect model are the uh, are uh, are the two you can say pure panel data models pool data is not a pure panel data model because we are not targeting any a variation of time series and cross sectional uh, observation so here we are studying you know we are increasing sample size that is very handy for the estimation process in the same times we are studying the variations with respect to cross sectional observation and time series observation okay so in the case of random effect models so we are pulling uh, pulling again so you, we are pulling cross sectional and time series data and consider the uh, time effects consider consider the consider the time effect time effect and you can say a uh, cross sectional effect uh, on the error terms on the error terms 
on the error terms. You see here. So now we are we, we, we initially we have this much of connection. Okay, what we have learned from the a, a, a econometric modeling, whether it is bivariate, trivariate, or multivariate. So ultimately, target is y and x. Okay, dependent to uh, independent. But uh, you know, uh, when will target in dependent to independent? That times. So there are certain you know uh, 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 there may be certain problems. So one such problem is the having data uh, uh, sample size. Okay, so if the sample size is low, then you cannot. Uh, go for estimation. So, to solve that particular problem, so we are uh, uh, applying or we uh, economists are usually use the concept called as a penal data. So, the moment they will use the penal data, it will increase the sample size, but in the same time, there is some additional problem. So, that too means uh, additional problem that may be observed with a, 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 a intercept and with a, uh, it can be observed through error term because. Uh, x, you know, between y and uh, between y and x t, uh, there is a other terms are left alpha and y t. So y i t. So that means the connection will go to this side and connection will go to this side. So if it will come to this side, so this is called as a fixed effect model, and if this will go to this side, then it's called as a random effect model. Okay. So now that means uh, it is the dummy variable which make the difference between. Uh, between the fixed effect model and random effect model, the dummy variable which we have discussed, uh, which we have discussed in the uh, in the last couple of lectures. Here, the dummy means it is the dummy independent cluster. So that means here we are using dummy with respect to cross-sectional observation, and we uh, here we are using dummy with uh, with, uh, with respect to time series observation. So that means we we'll, we are very much interested to know uh, as a cross-sectional uh, point of view which particular component is more efficient, more effective, more productive. And in other side, uh, with respect to time, we like to know which particular year is more efficient, more productive, and more stab stable one. So this is how the entire theme is all about. So means that is the entire structure of penal data modeling. So now, so uh, we will we will briefly highlight exact uh, the exact difference of fixed effect model and random year because pool data uh, once you will go for pure penal data modeling, that time pool data is not in your. Uh, Territory, so it is somewhat uh, uh, out of this territory because we are ultimately together. Who means we are very much interested when we will go for pulling the cross-sectional time series data. Then what are the other inputs we will get? Obviously, the uh, advantage is that we we have we have more and more sample size and we we will get.